Welcome researcher, please, insert your keycard to access the chosen file. Thank you, processing. Your file is ready to view. Item hash, SCP-2982 Objects Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, SCP-2982 must be kept in a safe. Telecommunication signals are to be inhibited as per multiple redundancy procedure 023 Telexicon except when under test, exposure conditions, during which time procedure 662 drip feed is to be followed. Description, SCP-2982 is a mobile phone, make, model Televano Telefx Secrecy 8, running an unknown proprietary operating system with an unknown service provider. Televano is not a recognized manufacturer. No other instances of SCP-2982 are known of in the make, model has not been traced to any known organization or concern. It has the anomalous, autonomous ability to import a user's pre-existing contacts, including highly sensitive, secret information that only the contact may be aware of and to make congruous changes to the real-life contact based on changes made to the contact information on the phone. The results include, but are not limited to, changes in colon eye color, weight, sexual orientation, religious belief, mental well-being, quality, length of life. SCP-2982 came to the indirect attention of the Foundation following the monitoring of numerous trigger events including suicides, suspicious accidental deaths and sudden onset personality changes, in the Greater Beacon Hill area of San Antonio, Texas by Early Warning Unit Wormwood 33 in January 2015. The common denominator was identified as Beacon Hill resident Harold Maine, also referred to as SCP-2982-01. However, Main drowned in his toilet in an apparent freak accident on February 3, 2015 before Foundation personnel could make contact. Anomaly test research emails sequence 3 date, February 10, 2015 time, 1157 from, Subset 23 Delta K6 Chief Security Officer Frank Conagher 2, Subset 23 Delta K6 Lead Research Analyst Dr. Marion Kelster Subject, Agent Paris. CPRD Amber 3CC, Observations and SCP-2982 Testing to date Marion this concerns me greatly. Last Tuesday, Agent Carol Paris misappropriated a phone during CPR at Harold Maine's home. She guessed the PIN number, searched the contacts, they were all hers. She says she freaked out and took the phone home. She confessed first thing this morning. I have a full statement on my desk. According to Paris, the phone contained secrets about all of her contacts, and I quote, sexual orientation, paraphilias, criminal records, medical records, secret fears, desires, phobias, psychological problems, extramarital affairs. She has no idea why Harold Maine had information on her friends, family and colleagues, how he came by this information, assuming it's authentic or what he was planning to do with it. Obviously some of these will be Foundation personnel, so it's something we need to monitor closely. Preemptive Class D requisition approval is attached for compulsory consent testing. Paris has volunteered the pen. It's in a separate encrypted email for security. Keep me informed, Frank. Date, February 10, 2015 Time, 1729 from Subset 23 Delta K6 Lee Research Analyst Dr. Marion Kelster 2, Subset 23 Delta K6 Chief Security Officer Frank Conagra Subject, Agent Paris, CPRD Amber 3 CC, Observations and SCP-2982 Testing to date Frank Initial test results are in. Thanks for the pen, but it wasn't required. All 7 CCT subjects guessed it at the first attempt. Also, the phone appears to autonomously import the contacts of whoever has the phone at the time. So Maine didn't have Paris contacts after all, which is good news. This of course means we now have no idea how someone's darkest secrets get onto the phone in the first place, which isn't so good. Meanwhile, external concerns are analyzing Maine's diary, 
which we're hoping to cross-test over the coming days. Just listen to this, August 3rd, got another subconscious text from Olivia Hume. Husband beats her, eldest son is on drugs. I feel for her. She has no outlets for her anxiety. I'm changing her star sign to self-harmer. Olivia Hume was admitted to hospital on the 6th with 11 self-inflicted razor wounds to the arms. Also evidence of self-inflicted bruises, bite marks, and various deep scratches on her face and neck. There were 200 plus entries in his diary where he's changed some poor unfortunate's contract details. Orthodox Jew into militant Islamist, right hand into left handed, deaf to blind, Asian female to white male and so on. I believe he was using the phone for blackmail, and altering people if they didn't cooperate. And that would explain the $273,666 scattered around his home. We've got a full list of Paris contacts. Very bad news, Frank. She knows a lot of level 3 plus personnel across multiple sites. She even has site directors on her list, including our own. And she had 7 days to change them in unknown ways, plus discover their innermost secrets. Not good for her, not good for us. This means we also need to trace all personnel, no, anyone who might have handled it since Tuesday the 3rd of February. Hopefully either yourself or Sandra's chaperone will have that logged. Testing continues, I'll keep you informed. Dr. M. Elster. Date, February 15, 2015 Time, 1756 From, Subset 23 Delta K6 Lee Research Analyst Dr. Marion Kelster 2. Subset 23 Delta K6 Chief Security Officer Frank Conagra Subject, RE, X Agent Paris, Observations and SCP-2982 Testing to date High Frank Test Confirm it. Changing the contact details changes the person. CCTS Golan species was changed to Patella Volgata, the common limpet, by another test subject. Golan displayed signs of extreme distress almost immediately. Physiological changes were complete within an hour. It took a security detail three hours to pry him off the floor using crowbars. The mucus was everywhere. We're currently arranging suitable saltwater containment. Sometimes the little things make you smile. Okay now the bad news. Paris' father died this morning. Advanced bronchiole alveolar carcinoma. Standard anomaly signature RECOG systems flagged it up. He'd been for a medical three days ago and he passed with a one health. I spoke to Paris, she says she read his contact info, he'd been having an extramarital affair with another man. She couldn't bear to see the details. She deleted him that day. This would have been the third. She did not take the news well. 18 subsequent tests on CCT Group SCP-2982-A5 show that, in all cases, deletion equals death. Finally, testing on the physical structure of the phone itself commences on the 21st. As always, I'll keep you in the loop re the current state of play. Dr. M. Elster, Extract, Email from David Rooney Burke to Frank Conniger Date, February 17, 2015 From, Site Director David Rooney Burke to, Subset 23 Delta K6 Chief Security Officer Frank Conniger CC, Site 23 Affiliated Field Operations Controller Sandra Chaperone Subject, Alexander Lazarus Frank Some Bad News. Chief Global Suppression Manager Alexander Lazarus will be joining us on February 19, 2015 for two days. Be careful. He is both absolutely loyal to the Foundation and entirely dispassionate towards the humanity it protects. He is to be given unhindered, solo access to both SCP-2982 and SCP-2982-02, the former Agent Paris. Yes I know. I'll send you the full approval documentation tomorrow. Orders come from the O5 Council. They're very very skittish about what she knows and what might get out. Also, nobody wants to wake up a different gender. Keep your head down, Frank. Do as he asks. Smile and bow on your way out. Don't make trouble. Let me know how many times 662 drip feed is enacted while he's here, and for how long. 
A final heads up, they're going to decease her. It's in the approvals. Keep your head down and let's hope when this blows over we're both still here. SD David Runeberg, Addendum, Operation Aftermath. On February 19, 2015, at the insistence of CGSM Lazarus, all testing on SCP-2982 was discontinued, and further testing, research or evaluation was prohibited. On February 23, 2015, Site Director Rooney Burke committed suicide. An encrypted email sent from his personal account to the Foundation SCO work email account read, Christ, Frank, what an unholy mess. Carol is dead. Yes Frank, first name terms. No point denying it now. Cause of death, stress cardiomyopathy, aka broken heart syndrome. Christ. We thought the deletion equals death anomaly was just for active deletions, you have the phone. You delete someone, they die. Turns out, when the phone swaps users, and it deletes all the previous contacts, these deletions also equal death. We didn't even consider that. She figured it out. The revelation broke her. Her family, her friends, her ex-colleagues, her children. All doomed the moment the next person picked up the phone. Christ. Thank you for the breach report. It's not proven but I think we both know Lazarus has the phone now, he interviewed Carol for 6 hours. He had sole access to both. I am truly sorry, Frank. You're blameless, at least. Just following orders. Under the circumstances I won't bother with an official response. And that leads me on to the real reason for this email. I can no longer live, Frank. I have to go. I discovered a lump on my cheek over breakfast. For the last 12 hours I've traced its blossoming, crawling trail from face to throat, chest, armpit, stomach, back and groin. It hurts. Lazarus wants me to beg him for clemency. Not going to happen. Make sure CPRD gets to me before anyone else does. Don't let my family find me first. I'll be in the bathtub. Maybe I'll listen to the Beatles on the way out. Lazarus knows a lot of high-level people, Frank. Their secrets, and their lives, are at risk. I don't know whether he's doing this for them or himself, or some other force. Maybe there's another phone out there and someone overtyped loyal friend with traitor. I don't know. It's time to go, Frank. With true regret I leave you to face the howling, all-consuming darkness of the coming storm. It has already claimed me, my friend. Take care, David. Current situation, current location of SCP-2982 and Alexander Lazarus is unknown. Locating same is of paramount importance and Operation Blank Check is in place to facilitate this. On March 3, 2015. 05 Council Member 07 received a 43-second anomalous video message which showed her sleeping in bed, with Lazarus standing naked over her. This is proof positive that Lazarus is now actively using SCP-2982, reasons unknown. SCP-2982 was misappropriated with only 37% of Core 1-slash-contact tests completed and 0% of core 2 slash structure tests complete. Conclusions, the Foundation cannot confirm the full extent of the anomalous properties of SCP-2982. Communications have been sent to all staff to report any suspicious telecommunications-based behavior from any source to line management immediately, under no circumstances are they to delete any phone contacts without site director clearance. Surviving contacts of all instances continue to be monitored via anomalous signature recognition operations. As of March 7, 2015, all contacts mentioned in SCP-2982-01's 2000 notes have died. As of March 8, 2015, 67 of SCP-2982-02's 2000 contacts have died, including its two children Ellen, age 12, and Sarah, age 8. At 1941 on March 11, 2015, Subset 23 Delta K-6 Chief Security Officer Frank Conagra stepped out in front of a moving truck and was killed instantly. 
an examination of his browsing history at work and on his private laptop at his residential property revealed 49 separate searches that day for the phrase locked in syndrome, I'm sorry, I can't let you have this information file 2982012 Demigago 89, current location of, data expunged. File 2982-388 CASBA 113, possible transmutation of Televent Telefex Secrecy 8 into, data expunged. File 2982-388 CASBA 267, global consequences, short term, data expunged. File 2982-393 CASBA 942, global consequences, mid. Long-term strategy, data expunged, file 2982-678 Mike at 001, external power shifts, organic and, data expunged, file 2982-678 Patriciato 23, threats to internal paradigm, data expunged, file 2982-860 per annum 111, fail over. Total site loss revision, data expunged, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Apologies for the overblown religious cliché. I know it's overdone but it somehow seems appropriate, and will become more so over time. A.L.